Hi, I'm Kip Barnes. I'm the founder and head brewer at Los Angeles Aleworks here in Hawthorne, California, and I'm here to do a review of the SS Brewtech Keg Washer. This is the main sort of control box that has all of the power and circuits and everything in it. And then we have a touch screen over here, which is actually where you set up all of your cycles and how long each of these cycles take. So um, we've got a bunch of pneumatic valves right here. So you're gonna hear them pulsing on and off when we clean the kegs. And then we've got our caustic reservoir, detergent reservoir, which um, you can fill with acid too if you're doing an acid cycle. To go right into this, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna engage your Sankey couplers and then you just put them up just like a normal keg washer, if you've used one before. Up on the pedestal. And as soon as you've dialed in all of your settings, all you have to do is just hit this green start button. And the keg washer starts to work. Okay, so right now it's doing the, the water rinse right here. So um, you can kind of hear the water like spraying up into the kegs. You can do this manually if you want, if you've got a bunch of beer in your line, but the keg washer does a really good job of rinsing everything out. So now we're doing the sanitizer cycle. Again, I'm using Parasan, but you can use iodine, you can use Sani Clean, you can use Oxine. Parasan is really, Parasan and Oxine are really the, the best sanitizers to use in my opinion. Parasan is one of those sanitizers that has a real high corrosion factor. So long-term use of Parasan will reduce the life of your keg washer. The air actually goes in here and it goes in here. So there's two places that the air will go in and rather than have two separate lines, I have the air going through this air filter and dryer then getting split to go to both of the places. That way the air that goes in is really clean. So this keg washer is really efficient. As soon as you're done with washing the kegs, you can fill it with beer right away. One thing to note is if you're using hot water, which is what's recommended, your kegs will be hot coming off of the line. I use cold water. The caustic is plenty hot to break anything down. So if you use cold water, the kegs will be nice and cold by the time you're ready to fill with beer and that's better for, for the beer, obviously. You don't wanna be putting beer in hot kegs. This is, a, this is a great piece of machinery. We've, we've kind of gone through like how this works. Um, you know, I want to talk a little bit more about the bells and whistles of how to use it, but it's semi-automatic. So really, I mean, the, the whole point of this system is to do everything for you. After you get your settings dialed in, you don't really have to do anything. And for me, that's great because we've lost a lot of time cleaning kegs with our manual keg washer. I have to have somebody like the whole time, like over a whole day washing kegs when they could be helping me, you know, clean tanks or you know do whatever else needs to be done in the brewery this is great I set it up and I can just clean kegs throughout the day and I see the light go on when the kegs are done and I save a lot of time So again, um, my name is Kip Barnes and I'm the founder and head brewer of Los Angeles Aleworks here in Hawthorne, California. You should come down and visit us, check out our gear if you're interested in that, or just come to the tasting room and enjoy some of our beers. So cheers.